If you're serious about growing high value crops and maximizing your yield and profit, then stick around. Because today, I'm gonna to tell you about dry gear and the three most important factors to consider when comparing dehumidifiers. The horticulture market is flooded with different humidity control options for growers. Yet, despite that variety, dehumidifiers can be broken up into two groups. Units originally created for non-agricultural environments that watched their market increase with the legalization of cannabis. And then dehumidifiers built specifically for the comfort of plants. A dehumidifier built for the comfort of plants is engineered with specific properties that when combined deliver a step change in dehumidification performance and plant health. It's very common for growers to experiment with brand A, Q, or Z because they were recommended by a friend or they fit the budget. It doesn't take long for those growers to reach out to Bell Park and Dry Gear because their brand A, Q, or Z units aren't delivering the consistent results they had expected and are now in need of a proper solution. So with all these options, but just two approaches to dehumidification, we decided to do a product comparison video to try and clear up some of the noise and sort out engineering facts versus marketing fluff. When shopping for a dehumidifier for growing purposes, you may have noticed that most dehumidifiers use testing conditions of 80 degrees Fahrenheit and 60% relative humidity, whereas dry gear is tested at a considerably lower temperature of 64 degrees Fahrenheit at 80% RH. Is this important? It's more than important. It's critical to your success. Dry gear's efficiency at lower temperatures make it the best dehumidifier for eliminating the dew point in cool temperatures and preventing water droplets from condensing on your crop during the night and early morning. Because dry gear is efficient at such low temperatures, the unit is most effective when it counts. By sealing up the greenhouse at night when the plants are resting, transpiring less, and the temperatures dropping well below 80 degrees Fahrenheit, dry gear can lower the humidity in a targeted way that ensures the elimination of the dew point. Eliminating the dew point means water vapor cannot cross the threshold between vapor and liquid and will not form water droplets on your plants. Brands A, Q, and Z are most efficient removing water at 80 degrees Fahrenheit and will be less efficient when the nighttime temperatures drop to 75 degrees, then 70 degrees, then 65 degrees. With each drop in temperature, brands A, Q, and Z pull less and less water vapor from the room, leaving the growth space saturated with water vapor. When the room rapidly increases in temperature in the early morning, the dew point is breached and the grower ends up with wet plants. When it comes to dew point elimination, the dehumidifier that operates at the lowest temperatures always wins. CFM means cubic feet per minute and represents the amount of air a dehumidifier can exhaust into a room in one minute. Is this important too? Yes, this is also super important because it can be used to calculate how long it will take a dehumidifier to treat all of the air in a given space. Think of a dehumidification unit as a giant air blender. The goal of the horticultural dehumidifier is to capture all of the air in the room, condense as much water from it as possible, then send the dry air throughout the growth space so that all of the air in the room share the same properties. So assume we have a room that measures 50 by 10 by 15, which is 7,500 cubic feet. And let's assume brand A, Q, or Z deliver 1,860 CFM. It would take that unit four minutes to capture, treat, and redistribute all of the air in the room. The comparable dry gear unit moves 4,000 CFM in the same room. So 1.8 minutes is all it would take to treat all of the air in the same size room. This is a massive difference in performance and a key source to keeping your plants comfortable, healthy, and stress-free. The low CFM ratings by brands A, Q, and Z are major contributors to the development of microclimates, stagnant air, and disease spread. When considering a horticultural dehumidifier, always compare CFM and understand the implications. Dry gear was designed with a patented 360 degree air circulation hood. Treated air is exhausted vertically from the unit to the underside of its highly engineered diffuser that pushes the air to the four corners of the growth space. This low relative humidity treated air then mixes with water vapor filled air throughout the growing space and is sucked back into the unit where the air is condensed again and sent back to the entire growing space. 
Without the ability to reliably direct treated air to the entire growing area, we also lose the ability to capture the air in all four corners of the growing space. Brands A, Q, and Z operate more like a traditional fan because they simply blow the treated air out in a single direction. Combine the inability to push treated air throughout the room with low CFM and you have a recipe for microclimates and crop diseases like powdery mildew and botrytis. Oftentimes, the grower will place ceiling fans throughout the growing space to assist the dehumidifier with air circulation. But the solution can oftentimes make matters worse by creating air barriers that then restrict the movement of air rather than help it. When choosing a horticulture dehumidifier, it's always a requirement that you pay for and receive 360 degree air distribution. It's all about the engineering. Dryger has been leading the horticulture dehumidifier market for over a decade, specializing in humidity control and monitoring. Established in 2010 in order to design, develop, and market an efficient and environmentally friendly dehumidification solution specifically for horticultural projects and the needs of growers. Dryger's know-how actually stretches back decades. Founded in 1956, Misha Refrigeration is one of Israel's leading refrigeration and air treatment companies and a major contributor within Dryger. Some of the world's top scientists and agronomists in full collaboration working towards the same goal, the comfort of plants, have been involved in bringing dry air to growers throughout the world. Our leading position in the industry is a testament to their knowledge, dedication, and achievements. Growers can't afford to assume that all dehumidifiers are essentially the same. Compare key specifications, understand the gaps in performance, and get serious about your plants and profitability. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified of the next Bell Park video.